we're going to talk about midlife, middle age. However, it sounds better to say midlife, doesn't midlife. it? Midlife. Yeah, it's still a shocker. Let's put it that way. this age, it's like nothing other than physically feeling a little different. I think we all still wake up and think, I just got out of high school or I just got out of college. The older I get, the farther middle age moves out. I think that it definitely surprised me. It surprises me that uh, I'm considered middle age. I, physically, I feel a lot younger than my chronological I've had friends go, why do you want to tell them how old you are? Well, I, damn, I thought I'd be dead by now. You know, <laughs> all the partying and stuff that I've done in my life, I, I didn't think I'd even be here right now. So um, I'm very proud of the fact that I'm healthy, I'm here, I'm still doing it. And uh, outside of being maybe a little sore once in a while, um, you know, muddling through. I think uh, middle age, it means the same thing now as it did 50 years ago. You asked how old I was, and usually I don't tell people because as soon as I say 60, they're like, box and say, oh, well, then you don't, you know, you don't have sex, you don't do that, you know, right, it's like, right. you're, you're like, off the ball. Actually, I would probably rate myself at about 48. Okay. I, I don't think my mental acuity has gone downhill, um, so I, um, I look at what I perceive as an old person, um, I've, for, uh, I believe that as long as Clairol keeps making dye, um, <laughs> I'll still feel young when I look in the mirror. How about you? Yeah, most days I feel like I'm in my 40s. And I know I've gotten a hell of a lot better over the years. Attitude, behavior, wellness, feeling good. And again, a lot of help from uh, my uh, hairstylist. Yes. Those colors are just... God bless chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> That's the case almost across the board for older folks. Uh, no matter how old, they don't feel like <clears throat> their mind activity and set has really changed. You know, that it's hard to age with your body, sure. you still can be a silly teenager, you know, in the 80s, uh, in certain ways. Yeah, yeah. For, it, it's not that events really change much uh, in terms of, you know, life just keeps happening, right. but uh, for, I think it's more your perspective or your attitude about how you're living your life. Uh, as far as for my corporate uh, point of view, I feel they're beginning to see that uh, I am dispensable one. and uh, they're looking for a younger, fresher idea. They I'm a little surprised that at 61 to feel as old as I do and still have struggles with depression, that that's not gone, um, that uh, my body is starting because I was always big and strong and did a lot of, you know, from logging to commercial fishing in Alaska, all over, doing hard things. And so it's hard to uh, live in this body that's become a lot frailer. Sure. Joint, joint problems and things uh, already kicking in. Whereas you think of this older person, maybe 70 and older, you know, by the time I hit 60, my body's starting to fall apart, and it's kind of a little discouraging that way. Mentally, we're one place, and physically, we're another because right. we've we've run out of energy. We're not, and we're not unhealthy, no. but so we don't I've, have the stamina that you know, change is going to happen whether you participate in it or not. It's not so us centered. I'm thinking more in terms of not just my kids, but their kids, and what are we leaving them? You know, not not just. Problems that are here, but the actual planet. Yeah. And you know, 
there's just things are so different and I'm sure every generation feels that way that things are so different in the next generation actually I do not think of retirement as often because I still embrace uh, my life and I think I am more get easily bored than before because before idea kicks in even I don't want to have some ideas and now ideas is really scarce to come to my mind when what to do so it's like okay that's why the internet and communication kind of like sits in well with me <laughs> at this point um I don't have any ideas of retirement. Retirement just seems out of the picture for me totally because I don't think I could ever save enough money at this point with a child that's still with me. In and middle age, you start looking back and, and looking around to what you have achieved and accomplished. And sometimes it is the depressing part because you're comparing yourself with someone of your age or your friends who are in your, in my opinion, are more successful than you look. Know, have a bigger house, they have this, they have that. And why do I have something to show for? And that is part uh, a normal way of thinking. I'm kind of looking forward to this. You know, as long as I can, like I said, I gotta stay healthy, keep taking care of myself. But I'm really looking forward to what the what this next piece is gonna look like because I really don't have any idea. So this is a new starting point for you. Oh, new start. You know, now that I've done all those other things, I'm ready to make some money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's I, it's a, it's funny. It's kind of come around the, um, the, the potential for being able to actually make something happen in the, in the physical material world for me has been instead of. Where I started, it's kind of going to be where I finish. It just, uh, it's just an interesting topic that I hadn't really spent a lot, of, a lot of time thinking about comfortably, mm -hmm. because um, you know, aging, dying, de denial, those all seem to go together pretty well for me. Uh, uh, but uh, I, I, I don't think that's particularly healthy, and it's fine. It's, it's, it's actually starting to. I'm starting to feel more. Uh, a bit more at peace with just the concept of whatever it is that's you know going to happen after what I thought was going to be the end, yeah, or the downhill part. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a lot, lot more, lot more interesting and rich. Um, so thanks for uh, for raising the question. Mm -hmm.